what does it mean to the group to have established new franchise records and wins and points this season? It's still with six games left to go. In terms of what it means, I mean, I, I don't know that it means a lot. You know, I mean, it, it, especially with you know where we need to get to as a team when it counts the most. But it's it's obviously not nothing, and I think it, it speaks to the work that this team has done. Uh, it speaks to what this team is capable of, um, and it also just speaks to the fact that we just need to remain focused on the fact that we're a really good team. And yeah, we can do really good things. We've been through a lot this season, ups and downs, and we've been questioned at different times, and understandably, you know, because of you know what we've failed to do in previous years and where we know we need to get to. But this team's done some really great things and has great capabilities uh, ahead. So we just need to continue to focus on the fact that uh, we're a good we're a good team and, and continue to ramp up for playoffs. How would you describe the confidence level of the group as you gear up here for the playoffs? Where, is it where you want it to be at the moment? I think we're in a good place, yeah. I think when we look at how we've played, look at um, the results that we've gotten and how we've gotten those results, in particular against you know, some of the top teams and teams you know, that we're going to face uh, you know, within our division, whether it's at home or on the road. We've done a good job and gotten good results. We've got some work to do here ahead. You know, obviously next week is uh, is going to be a real busy week for us. You know, it's uh, maybe as as busy a stretch. You know, seven day stretch as maybe we've had all season. Or you know, it certainly um, hasn't been any busier than that. It doesn't get much busier. Um, but I, I certainly would think that our confidence is in a really good place right now. But at the same time, of course, we've got great respect for the challenge that's ahead no matter who it is we end up facing I mean all the teams are you know feeling just so just as good about themselves as we are what did you make of uh, all the line experimentation that you did tonight things that you liked didn't like? yeah I liked it uh, the biggest thing I really wanted to see was Kerfoot um, Nylander and Engvall and really liked that line today but they did good things I thought Willie was excellent today Engvall's continued to play well Kerfoot going back in the middle did a good job for us so I was really happy with that. And then obviously John stepping up and playing with Mitch. Um, those guys were good. And, and Mitch played really well and didn't miss a beat. So uh, those kind of things I liked. I thought we got good shifts from Spezza Simmons and Abrazesi. And um, so, yeah, I think uh, for, you know, for what I was looking to accomplish today in terms of um, getting some reps and some comfort with those players playing together, I was happy with it. Confidence on the part of him. Well, Sheldon's allowed him to become this player now. You know, yeah. I'm not push whatever I want to just know that you can do it now. Yeah, I think he's you know, he's coming into his own for sure. You know, that offensive confidence is is coming. He's recognizing what he's capable of with his speed and his strength to get to good spots on the ice, and uh, he's becoming a really important player for us. You know, it's it's, it's gone. It was even when you know when Kasha was was playing for us. You know, Pierre had s starting to really solidify himself in within the top nine, and uh, certainly now since Kasha's not been in, he he's gotten even more opportunity, and he's been great. Alex, of course, felt badly about the own goal to the point where he apologized to Jack, who of course, in Jack fashion, took the blame as well. How, what did you like about how those two guys both re reacted and responded to that situation? Yeah, I, I, I like. I mean, I, I like that our guys weren't phased by it. I mean, you don't, you don't like it. Nobody's happy with it. It's, it's not great. I mean, just like our first, the first goal against. I mean, it's textbook screen um, by Labushkin. Uh, so I would, I would call it sort of two own goals almost here tonight. But um, our guys found themselves after. <clears throat> excuse me, kept playing and Kerf made a big time play. You know, to get. To, you know, in essence, to get the goal back for us. So it was, uh, you know, from that end of it, it was good. Guys weren't phased, and that's what I liked. We were, we were patient and confident playing in this game today. I um, thought we emptied the tank maybe a little bit in that early in the third period. We were really good. Um, you know, even the power play, the five on three, we didn't get it to fall for us, but I don't know how many shots we generated on that, but lots of activity, and, and we were real close. 
But even at five on five, uh, early in the third period, first 10 minutes or so, we were really coming and probably deserved to get one and build our lead. We failed to do that and then got on our heels quite a bit the rest of the way. But, um, you know, obviously liked the way that we were comfortable playing in this game today and didn't let it get away on us. And we needed, when we needed Jack, he was there. With Jack, would, you, would it be your preference to starting for the most of the starts before the end of the regular season, or do you still have to do some management with this? Uh, though we, from a health perspective, he's, he's good. He's, he's you know, close to 100% you're going to get this time of year. Um, the feedback's been really good. He's bounced back nicely from that extra time he gave him, you know, an extra day or two. So, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about it, you know, and see. It's, like I said, it's a very busy stretch coming up here, but, you know, it's, it's really co that constant um, discussion here for us in terms of getting Jack the reps and getting him into a groove, but also ensuring that he's, he remains healthy throughout the rest of the way. So, you know, we'll have that, uh, we'll have that conversation, and not just him, but the rest of our team we got to make sure we're managing here through this very busy stretch and I'm, I'm not expecting us to spend much time practicing this week just because of the volume of games that we have with travel and stuff coming up ahead so we've got to really manage that it gets a lot lighter for us in the, in the last week of the season but this week coming here is going to be a, a busy one i mean, I'd love to ask pre game but is there anything you can tell us in the nature of what Austin's doing with the upper or lower body type thing no, I think I'll, you know, given the time of year and the fact that it's it's pretty minor, I think he's going to push past it pretty quickly. We'll just leave it at that. I wonder what the balance is like for guys like Austin, who are obviously knocking on the door some pretty big numbers. Mitch is also closing in on 100 points. you got a lot of guys who have a great individual season. What the balance would be like down the stretch here as you get more comfortable in your, in your standings position, knowing that maybe even within games in terms of minutes, but also maybe even resting because that's not something players like to do. What that balance is like down the stretch. Here. Yeah, it, it is. It's a balance with players, you know, as much as sometimes rest is, is good for them. They don't, they don't like it. They like to just play the game, stay in a rhythm. Um, but we've, we've got to be smart about it. Like I saying this before the game in Austin's case, it's, it's a pretty easy discussion. It's just not, it's not worth him having to play through anything as minor as it might have been or, you know, if it were a playoff game, say that he, you know, he's probably playing, you know, but, but um, you know, we got to be smart with those kind of things. And, you know, even tonight on the back-to-back, -back, you know, we had some discussions and internally about what to do with the group. We just decided we just, you know, keep the group rolling, uh, rolling along here. And we, like I said, that last week of the season is, is pretty light for us in terms of volume of games and such. Uh, so this is an important week for us to get through. We got to balance all those kind of things, but we are still competing here. You know, it's 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 tight. You know, in terms of where where our seating is, and we want to maintain that, uh, continue to play well going into the playoffs. So that's all the stuff that we're we're discussing. And, and as long as we're confident the guys are healthy, you know, we think for the most part we'll just keep the group rolling.